Hi, welcome to Engelgeist. This is my channel. Thank you for supporting it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you uh, feel so inclined. Uh, today, what I am filming, what this film is that you're watching, is for um, Sagittarius, September 2019, uh, the month predictive. So basically, this is what's going to happen for the majority of people with Sagittarius um, heavily in their chart, in their, either in their sun, moon, or, or rising, possibly their Venus if love comes up. I don't know what's going on with YouTube today. I'm having trouble load, uploading the video, so hopefully you guys will be able to see this video today, which is September 3rd, that it's being shot, but I can't seem to get Scorpio up, and that's never been a problem for me in the past to get a Scorpio up. So, um, I don't know. Well, we're doing our best, but I'm moving on. I can't, I, I want to get these done and out. So hopefully this will work for my Sagittarian friends and you guys will get to see a little bit of what's to be expected for the month of September. So let me shuffle your cards really quick and see what's going on for my Sagittarius. So like the word that comes up is control for the month of September for the Sagittarius. It feels like you guys are going to either have good control over whatever it is you're seeking or trying to create in the month of September or you're going to be seeking the control of that. Um, if that makes any sense at all to those of you that are tuning in. Um, it feels like the energy is going to move at a fast pace or a fairly fast pace. I don't feel a lot of outside interference, which I wasn't feeling feeling too much resistance from the outside for most of the um, uh, taroscopes for the month of September, which is a good thing. It seems like the theme amongst them is kind of like we need to get out of our own way. I don't even feel that with you guys. It feels more like you guys are seeking out the control that you need so that you can um, have the results that you want. Does that make sense? Like not necessarily allowing other people to stick their thumb in the pie. <laughs> Excuse the reference, but you know what I mean? Like, we want to be the one that creates this month as far as the Sagittarius are concerned. So we're going to control that and, and monitor that and keep that under close wraps. So, um, so that's what we've got going on, or that's what I'm feeling in the shuffle. Now, this first card represents sort of the overall feeling of uh, the month of September 2019 for the Sages. So this is the lover's card. Wow, beautiful card. So those of you, um, I mean, obviously this says to me, it's about, uh, it's gonna be a month of relationships. Uh, it could be just uh, simple relationships like friendships and platonic things like that, maybe work relationships, but this could also mean deeper, like love relationships. Um, the reason why I say that, obviously, it is the lovers. And every relationship requires work, but it feels like the focus this month of September will be that for the Sages is putting in the work and the effort to really make their relationships work wherever they feel that their relationships are maybe suffering or they need um, assistance. This lover's card is kind of gonna be where where you're at um, throughout the month, is sort of trying to come together, even with other creative people. Um, you know, if you're trying to create something, say business-wise, I think that this lover's card definitely indicates an energy of you coming at, say, an, another creative collaborator with a sense of love or a sense of, companionship, a sense of honoring them. I don't necessarily know from the shuffle that you guys are gonna like allow them to take over the collaboration, certainly. I think that this is uh, about controlling the relationships or being in control of the relationships enough that um, that uh, they s the relationship grows and is beautiful and, and works well for you, but um, it also needs to serve you is what I'm hearing or feeling. It needs to be a relationship that's productive and bringing you uh, the sort of either the love, the admiration, the opportunity, whatever it is that you need from it, okay? Um, 
that's definitely the focus there. Now, the, the next card is the foundation card. This is the card that opened the door from the past for things to be the way that they are. So this is the Eight of Wands, which is harmony. And to me, this is an interesting card from the standpoint that it is a spirit-based card, but it says to me that you guys have been on a long journey seeking sort of this um, <clears throat> harmony, essentially, uh, within your life, and trying to find that perfect fit, be it with career, be it with finance, be it with relationships, but really trying to feel that and, and find that on a very deep sort of spiritual level, right? Um, you guys are strong and capable individuals and you're capable of making things happen. It looks like you guys have been working for this goal for a very long time. And with this lover's card in the center here as the sort of the theme for the month of some, uh, September, it says to me that I kind of get a feeling that maybe you might be getting closer to your goal or your goal might be becoming more and more of a reality uh, just from the standpoint that this harmony card is the past, right? So we've been working, working, working um, leading up to this month of September. Now September's leading with this sort of attitude of the lovers which says to me that we're staying focused positively, we're willing to put in the work, we're willing to build upon the relationships that we want to build upon that are serving us in the way that we need them to serve us so that we can maybe achieve that harmony that we've been seeking or focused on um, so much so in the past. Now the next card is your soul card or your, um, your higher self spirit card. It tells me a bit about where you guys are at uh, what your soul is working at, on in the month of uh, September. So you guys get the Sage of Crystals, which is Knower. Crystals deals with the mind. To me, I like this card here. It's funny, the first thing that pops out, especially with this Lovers and this Harmony card here, is there's this diamond down here, which usually represents like the clarity of thought to me, but to me it's almost looking like an offering of, of a proposal. Um, and this is the soul space. So I think that I'm not saying that we're necessarily, um, you know, our soul is going to propose to anybody, but I wouldn't rule out that some of you aren't going to either be desirous of getting a proposal or actually receiving a proposal in this month of September. Uh, and, and I say that because I feel like it's going to be a select few sages. Like I'm, I'm, speaking directly to just a certain few watchers that might actually be in situations where a proposal is imminent or or could be possible and with this lover's card and the harmony card here and the work put in and the strength put in that now it's like our soul on some level knows it it knows what we deserve and it could result in the union or in in marriage for some of you. On the other scale, the grander scale of the majority of you guys, this Knower card is about, in this space, is about really taking what you know and utilizing it in a way clearly, hence the diamond again, clearly in where you fit in the universe and how. And so I think that that also aids this Lover's card and the Harmony card. It's like you've done the work you know what you're capable of, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, and you're willing to bring all of those to the table to make relationships more beneficial for you in the month of September so that you achieve the gifts and the, the, the wealth, the clarity, the opportunities that you know you want and you know you can bring in. So it's a matter of really living in that knowing. I think that the spirit, that's why this is a mind card in a spirit space. <coughs> Excuse me is it feels to me like your your spirit wants your mind to really live from that place of knowing the month of September. Don't take anything less. Don't take anything for granted. Don't underestimate yourself. Know that you've put in the work. You maybe haven't fully achieved the goal yet, but you've been so focused and worked so hard and come so far along that it is just around the corner if it's not already here, okay? Um, it's definitely, there's the, with this lover's card, there's going to be glimpses of it all over through the month of um, 
through the month of September. Now, and I'm gonna say this too, this feels like with this leading of this lover's card and this proposal in here, those of you with Venus in Sag should be tuning in and cross-watching this because I do believe that some of this attributes to people that their Venus is in Sagittarius uh, because this is definitely turning into sort of like a love reading between the lovers, harmony, me seeing this sort of proposal here. So those of you with Venus in Sag, you should maybe cross watch this video also. These are the outside influences, these next cards. This here is the Man of Cups, which is Surfer. Now this actually feels like, because it is an outside influence, this actually feels like a suitor. Um, this feels like, it doesn't necessarily, it is it is the Man of Cups, which is the King of Cups, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. For some of you, obviously it will be. For others of you, it may be a very sort of domineering female or a female that is emotional and sure of herself, okay? She's going to be very attractive and sort of dynamic, so will he. But let me tell you this, I feel like this person is not necessarily um, full of uh, depth. They want to keep it fun. They want to keep it light. They want to keep it easy. Um, they are emotional. They do have their emotions, but they're not necessarily willing or wanting to get too bogged down in them. I love that the, it's this it's this white flower with this silver vase that ends in this like half horse down here, which speaks to me of the Sagittarians because you guys are, you know, the archer, the half horse, half man. So they have their eyes set on the half horse. Um, and it's never, that doesn't normally stand out to me in this card. But today in this reading it is. It says to me that there's somebody that's playful, that's sort of um, very attractive in the month of September that might show up. For those of you that maybe aren't already in a committed something, um, there is opportunity here for you to get into that. For those of the, you that are in a committed something, then I would say if this person were to show up, that's up to you whether or not you give them your attention. The other out, the way this outside influence could play out is um, this would be a good attitude to hold throughout the month of September. If this were, say, more like an energy coming from the universe towards you, it's a reminder to be a, not aloof per se, but to almost be aloof, to be lighthearted, to enjoy yourself, to revel in your attractions. And this also keys into this knower card that your soul wants you to live from, this belief where there's these opportunities for you as, as the Sagittarian that you are to really own your beauty, your capability, your you can still be emotional, but it doesn't have to lead. It doesn't have to be messy. It, it can be attractive and, and, and sort of pull attention, right? Um, again, this also specifically, again, speaking to a small few of you that are maybe single right now, this card I know represents as somebody that's coming into the picture that is also very attractive and wanting to pull your attention and they're interested in you. They're presenting very well and pretty um, or their best side to kind of uh, to kind of attract your attention. So pay attention for those of you that are single during the month of September. There is an opportunity coming from somebody that could be very fun, very jovial, very um, sort of lighthearted and in, in command. They sort of, there would be, to me, this card sort of feels like somebody that walks into the room and kind of draws all the attention towards them just naturally in a very carefree kind of way. This could be both male or female, so keep an eye out for that for those of you that are single. For those of you that are in a committed relationship where this lover's card is already in place and you're working maybe this lover's energy in other relationships to get ahead in the month of September, I would, um, <coughs> pardon me, I would look at this card as if it is an opportunity or the universe reminding you to really not get too heavy, not get too down. Remember your, your positive attributes and know them and live from them so that you can sort of have that clarity and move forward towards that harmony in the um, relationships that you have in your life. Okay, now the next outside influence, wow, is the Ace of Cups, which is ecstasy. So those of my single Sages, you guys, you might be having some serious um, loved upness in September. And those of you with Sag and Venus, sorry, I needed a sip of water. Um, 
This is uh, definitely a, you've got this cups energy going on in both of your outside influences. So we've got some emotional energy like surrounding us right now with this lover's card as sort of the center for the month. That would make sense because we're feeling the love for maybe our friends, our coworkers, our business relations, whatever we're doing, we're bonding with people. We're connecting deeper. We're looking, we've been looking for this harmony and seeking it. We're finally starting to achieve it in the month of September through this lover's card and we're starting we need to our soul really wants us to be aware and know it on a mental level that what we are creating what we are projecting is really bringing into us these these aspects of the man of cups or this ecstasy card which is the ace of cups which is this abundance of emotion but in a positive transformative way so this to me feels like the energy of the universe kind of coming at you and giving you opportunities for beauty growth transformation, um, uh, just really exploring who you are and how you feel and where you fit in your world, really finding this harmony, this spiritual harmony, but almost through an emotional state of being in the opportunities that come at you throughout the month of September. So be aware that if you feel like you're on an emotional high or you feel like really connected to your fellow man or you're, you know, you're just head over heels in love or you've met somebody that is this man of cups, you know, that is very attractive and, and, and fun and, and fun loving and that sort of thing. Um, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's what this ecstasy card is about. It's about really like living in the moment and feeling the joy of that and allowing that joy to transform you. Allowing that joy to like let you realize your own beauty, your own worth and how much you, you guys deserve it. So... Um, keep that in mind uh, for the month of September. Now, this is the last card, and it's sort of what I call the potential outcomes card. This card tells me a bit about sort of where things are going to head in the near future um, by the end of September with everything the way that it stands. So it's not set in stone by any means. We have free will and free choice. We can, um, at times, make decisions and choices to change outcomes. If this is a negative card, we don't have to adhere to it. We can make the choices and changes and use it as a warning to uh, move ourselves in a different direction. And we'll, we'll see that when we check in for the mid-month Tauroscope. But here is the outcome as it stands now for the Sages. This is the Hierophant. I like this card being, it's interesting to me, you guys lead out with um, a major arcana, you lead in with a major arcana, and you exit out of the month with a major arcana. So, and there's a lot of really good vibes going on through the month of September for you guys. You have harmony, knower, surfer, and ecstasy. So to me, it seems like, wow, they get to like have all of this gamut of like sort of good feelings. They've been seeking this wonderful harmony that they know exists for them. And yes, maybe they've struggled at times to, to achieve it or they don't feel like they fully achieved it. But if they start to live in the knowing that they deserve it and that they can have it, it's going to either offer them up opportunities to, to live as if they have it, like the surfer card, or they're going to meet somebody that brings that out in them and together that ecstasy will be experienced, right? Or that joy will be experienced. By the end of the month, I feel like this is a sort of going inward and a reflecting, a period of really like taking everything in and really owning it. This Herald font to me feels very secure and stable. I love how we have all of these flowers and these two outside influence cards. And then we have this giant um, like poppy here at the bottom, like at the base of everything. Like it says to me that the beauty of what you're going to experience in September, you're going to be able to stand upon and look upon and like sort of reflect upon um, and really own from a different place. The Herald is all about teaching, about institutions and learning about being in one's spiritual knowledge and awareness and owning it really from a kind of a quiet place in a way. And so to me, I feel like this is uh, what this month will represent for you. Again, we have this knower card here. The Hierophant is really like sort of assimilating that knowledge that your spirit wants you to have and owning it from a place of, of power, right? Of, of, of um, like of, I, how do I want to say this? Because I keep going back to that shuffle where I felt like you guys wanted that control. This is that control that you seek. It's not necessarily control, but it's like a position of awareness. Like I look at these pillars and how strong they are. I look at this statue here with the intu intuitive moon. 
above it. And it's like he's sort of closed in. He's not closed off from the world, but he's centered in his world. And he knows what he needs or what, what they've created for themselves in the month of September. And they really get to assimilate that, transmute it and own it and be proud of it from a very um, honored and like um, uh, humble sort of place, right? The Hierophant isn't necessarily about showy. He's not the mu magician card. He's more humble and um, quietly owns his um, knowledge. So I feel like you guys are going to end off on, um, uh, it might be a bit of a romantic fun ride throughout the month of September, but by the end of September, you're going to really get to sit back, relax, and, and kind of take it all in and go, wow, that was wonderful and be very appreciative of it, okay? So that's what I'm gonna say is your guys' August, or sorry, not August, September 2019 predictive. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, tell your friends about me and send them my way. I would greatly appreciate it. I also have pick a card videos and oracle card and tarot card unboxing videos and who knows what other content will come up on the um, YouTube channel, but I appreciate each and every one of you. You can also join my Facebook group and uh, private readings are available. You can reach out to me via my biz business page on Facebook. And um, I hope you guys have a splendid September. Thank you, Sages. Bye.